Thanks for coming back to our coverage of the 2019 Poker Stars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT. I am here with someone whose name you might know from online. His username is Limitless. His real name is Victor Molinowski. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's so great to see you playing live. I know this isn't your first live tournament. What was your first live tournament? Uh, it was actually in Monaco three years ago. It was my like first trip when I play live poker. And uh, yeah, since then I played a few Tritons, but I, again, I uh, came back here. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your meteoric rise online. You've sort of grinded, you're the ultimate grinder, yeah. from the lowest stakes now to the highest stakes. Tell me about when you first started grinding online. Uh, well, I started in 2014, but then it was just from free rolls. And uh, since then I just like basically breathe, eat, breathe, uh, poker, basically all I did, and uh, here I am. How did you first get into poker? Uh, well, I had a knee injury, so I was doing handball sports, and then I hurt my knee, had some free time, and uh, my brother showed me the poker, and first it was just a hobby, I just started playing on the side, and then uh, after two years maybe I thought I can actually do it more serious, because I saw that uh, there is like uh, a lot of uh, like money in there involved and stuff, so yeah, that's how I got there. Yeah. Does your brother still play, or did did you sort of surpass him and he gave uh, it up? Yeah, yeah. He, I think he still plays, but uh, it's quite uh, different. Yeah, a lot of games. I think he plays like a lower, lower state, like I know hundred maybe tries to move up. Uh, yeah. But not professionally. Uh, no, 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 not professional. So <laughs> when did you decide? Okay, I'm gonna do this professionally now. Uh, well, it was in 2016. So I already played like maybe five, ten online, uh, and then uh, I was still doing sports and. Uh, I had like a lot of workouts, things like that. So I just saw that uh, if I focus fully on one thing, then it becomes better. Because otherwise, I'll be mediocre in this area and in that area. So I play full time since 2016, like uh, uh, winter. Yeah. So after your injury, you went back to handball. Uh, yes, yes. I actually played in Germany. It's like uh, in second league. I yeah, I came back, but I still have a lot of knee pain and stuff. And I just saw that uh, because basically I was working out twice a day, and then after evening I was grinding poker, so I didn't get enough sleeps. And then I no knew that in case to recover fully, I need to basically sacrifice one and the other. And also, I just wanted to say that. Uh, at the beginning, I was thinking that like a higher game, they're all like geniuses and stuff. So I was like, didn't think too much into future of it because I don't have really like any scientific background or anything. So I was just thinking, oh, I guess there you need to be like really, really like smart with maths and stuff. But I guess it wasn't the case. And then after I was able to beat like a bigger game, so I just saw the opportunity to move up and uh, try my luck and compete against the best uh, there. Yeah. Coming up, who did you think was the absolute best, someone you could never play against? Uh, well, I'll say like OTB because he's like a legend uh, of the online poker. He was so long for the scene. Uh, True Teller, guys like that, uh, Katya 18. But uh, actually, it's one of the hardest jumps. It's like from 1020 to 2550 because you have like a special breed of players who only play 2550 and don't play higher. And it's a pretty tough jump. So I was like fighting, fighting, fighting. And finally, I was able to manage to get enough like a uh, yeah, bankroll and then uh, figure out a few things and what, what I was missing and, uh, and then play. What was the most important piece that you were missing? What, what did you have to figure out before you had the confidence to do 25-50? Oh, uh, well, I see, I'll say it's like, a, you know, like football teams. Basically, I was playing well, but I need to tune a few things. Like, it's all around. It's not like one thing that is open your mind, but it was just like a, everything you do slightly better, like every every decision. And then it basically it's heads up, heads up, heads up, and then you became like a better better player. So yeah. playing heads up made you better? Uh, well, originally I was playing a ring more, but now I play two heads up as well. But I'll say I free-handed versus tough regulars makes, makes me better, because you like basically you don't have any room to make mistakes because they will just punish you. <laughs> this is true. So tell me a little bit about your live game and how that's different from your online game and how you sort of, you know, you have, you don't, you know, you can't multi-table live. Uh, yeah, at the beginning uh, it was kind of boring for me because it was just way, way slower. I used to play many tables, you know, from the home, it's comfortable. But now it's more of a social aspect because it's like you socialize more. Uh, I like the feel of the chips. Uh, I feel like it's softer as well. Yeah, I started playing live cash uh, mainly, and then uh, after that, I was after like maybe a month or two, I was more comfortable with uh, live poker as well. Then, yeah. What live tournament have you not played yet that you want to go and travel to and play? 
well, I wanted to go Bahamas, but there was like a 30 hour flight and uh, from Asia, from Macau. So I'm like, oh, I guess uh, I'll skip that one. Well, I want to play all the highest one, 1 million, everything. You bring the tournaments. If it's nearby, I'll play them. <laughs> well, rumor is Triton's going to have the largest buy-in tournament ever. Is that something you want to play? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, pretty sure. Why not? Well, good luck to you. It was great meeting you. And uh, check out PokerNews.com for all the updates. Victor's still in the main event here, so we'll see uh, how deep he goes.